Managing a loved one's health crisis can be hard on the entire family. Fox News' Ryan Armani sits down with Dr. Sabrina Jackson to give us some tips on caring for someone close to you during a time of need. It is a Monday, so we are back with Dr. Sabrina Jackson, the people expert, talking about stress. Dr. Sabrina, April is Stress Awareness Month. It can have a huge impact on every aspect of your life every aspect of your life. And do you know that Stress Awareness Month started in 1974? Uh-huh, yeah, it's been around for a long time because we want to talk about the difficult things about stress, but the good stress as well. We don't want to just focus on the negative, but we definitely want to develop a plan. Because there is a little bit of, uh, we talk about good stress, yes. being that uh, a driver of some positive things in your life, too. Absolutely. You think about uh, getting married. People get married and they're all excited about it, but it can be a stressful time, mm -hmm. too. You're planning the wedding and the families and all that stuff, but focus on the good. And sometimes the good things can still be stressful, but having a stress management plan keeps you cool, calm, and collected. How do you do that? Oh, my goodness. You first have to find things that affect you physically when you're stressed and know those things so when they creep up you can control it and it doesn't control you so find out what's going on in your body is your stomach hurting are you having a headache are you sweating do you grind your teeth at night and when those things happen it's a warning sign that now I need to do something we may need to move that body exercise yoga all of that dance oh my goodness <laughs> dancing like nobody's a little two step <laughs> yes or get your hustle on hey but movement of the body and then deep breathing is so important mm -hmm. because when we're stressed, we stop breathing correctly. And we need to breathe from the bottom of our gut. <gasps> Hold it, uh. <laughs> and then out through the mouth. And then if we do that regularly, it really does calm things and regulate things in our body. Hey, I wanted to ask you about this because I think it's an important point. Commun communication, communicating. If you are stressed, having the ability to communicate to someone what you're going through. I always say we need a safe space. We need that person that's not going to ridicule us, dog us, but they're going to listen because listening is a skill and hearing is a bodily mm -hmm. function. You need someone that's really listening so that they can then repeat back to you what you said and have good questions to ask you. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes just listening and then asking the right question makes the person think, well, it's not as bad as I think right. it is. Exactly. Oh my God. Because I know I've done that. Exactly. I'd be thinking, I'd be tripping, I'd be wrong. <laughs> and then somebody will say, well, Sabrina, does that really mean? No, it doesn't. Helps you put perspective on it a lot of things. It does help you put perspective on a lot of things. And at the end of the day, you are the only you you have. So you have to be kind to you. SabrinaJackson.com, the people expert underscore on social media for more great tips. Check her out. Thank you. And they can take a test today on my website. Right now. How stressed are you? SabrinaJackson.com. Take the test. We'll send it back to you.